Hello beautiful people, my name is Taku, and welcome to a game called Teeth of Glass. I just saw this game on Itch.io, I wanted to give it a try, give it a break from the series that we're doing. And um, it's a creepy game, I think you're a doctor in a nightmare? We've got an elderly male, very underweight, age unknown, gunshot wound to the chest. Oh, oh the noises! Pulse. I... unknown. What do you mean, unknown? Couldn't find it, but he's breathing. It's impossible. It must just be a faint. Just get him hooked up to the monitor. We need to operate now. Dr. Hagstrom? Yes? Are you ready to operate? Yes. Preparing to make the first incision. Oh, that's a very detailed body. Oh, you can see the veins. Oh, okay. Ooh. I need to make an incision above the bullet hole. Okay. Cut. Are we cutting? Oh, it's black. Oh, it's black. Oh my gosh. Where is his blood? Never seen anything like it. How is he alive? Get that bullet out of him first. Then, well, just get the bullet out. What is this? Glass shard? I scrape the tweezers along the glassy surface. How could such a thing exist? Oh, we're not messing with the glass shards. Okay, we keep those. Those are healthy. Oh, he was bleeding. The inky black blood splashed on my face. It felt both hot and cold and seemed to work its way past my eyes, across my face, into my nose and mouth. What is this, venom? And then I fell into darkness. Oh. <laughs> Ew, nasty. Get that off of my face. Dr. Claridge? Blake? What the heck? Where are you? Ooh, we get to look around. This is a point and click game. I have more important things to do than wipe it down. Well, I didn't know. Anesthesia trolley. There was no need to use the anesthesia cart. Okay. Alright, so I can't use WASD. Can I click and hold? No, I have to click. X-rays. We look at them? There was no need to take them down. Well, I'm not trying to clean. I'm trying to learn. Surgical tools. There's nothing on the tray. Well, that's good. Oh, it's inky! I didn't want to wipe down that table until I knew what that substance was. Oh, we're, so we're leaving it dirty. Nice. What does that say? Theater 34? Well, I guess they do call surgical rooms theaters. I, I don't want to do that. I want to keep going. Come on. Is it easier to do it like this? I can't tell. Well, he's moving. That's all that matters. Alright. Ooh, supply cupboard. Whoa, look at that door. Didn't have any reason to go rifling through the cupboard. Well, here's a reason! <laughs> what? Look at all these chains! This is the only way out. How the heck did someone chain these doors shut? Ooh. A little blood splatter. Blood handprints appeared on the glass of the cupboard. It was a cheap Halloween trick. The kind that Dr. Blake liked to pull. Not at work. Blake, wherever you are, this isn't funny. People are relying on us. This will cost you your job. Uh oh. The only answer was the incessant, insi incessant, insistent rain? Never heard of that word. Darn it. I looked at the cupboard. Perhaps I had to look inside and play his stupid game to get out of this. He would be gone by tomorrow if I had anything to do with it. Okay, we're a bit of a strict doctor. Does he not understand that no one's here? There was something at the back of the shelf. I need to get the bottles out of the way to get to it. Oh, okay, excuse me, white tub. And, uh, what is that? Methalcarolite? Essential green bottle? Ooh, was it that? White bottle. <gasps> Ooh! What the heck was that? Did I imagine it? No, no, you did not. All right, brown bottle. Um, brown bottle, the key inside, okay. Oh, okay. All right, can we pour it down the sink? Okay, how, how do we, do I have an inventory to interact with? I don't, don't know. There's no need to work on the cupboard. Okay, can we go back to the chains? We have a bottle. How do I get to my bottle? I don't know the controls. Oh, I could save. All right, uh, oh, uh, one. All right, there we go. We got a save going. All right, uh, I don't, I don't know how to, 
access the oh that changed I had more important things to do than wipe it down no that changed how do you not oh no there was no way I was touching that okay but that's different you're not gonna pay attention to venom growing on the table all right is there there has to be an inventory that's an eyeball now oh creepy there has to be something I'm um, definitely <gasps> marionette hello oh don't get me closer marionette was almost life-size and made of carved wood couldn't place the style maybe it was Middle Eastern it's pretty at that thimble can't do anything with it okay the face was beautiful beautifully carved the surface felt as soft as skin Ooh. so we have to give her something there's nothing to give I don't how do I maybe do I am I let me look see if there's controls uh, okay, I didn't see any controls. What? What is this? Large leather bound book? No, thank you. It was my home, my study. What was it here? To become reborn, you first must recognize your roots, the land you first held that first held you. Secondly, you must bathe in the blue waters that quenched your thirst. Lastly, you must allow the essence of life to flow. Blood be bound. Stop! No, thank you. To go back to my roots? Ooh! It was a photograph of me and Mary on our wedding day. But what happened to our eyes? I don't know! Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. <gasps> I have an inventory! Uh, what if we use the scalpel? Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I don't need anything. I don't need this. Ah. Oh! Mary? Was that my wife? Mary, I'm sorry I work so late. I'm sorry, Mary. I promise I'll come home with your favorite snacks and your favorite drinks if that makes you happy. The cupboard's leaking. Cupboard. Oh, okay. The hole is leaking. Moving the cupboard revealed a huge fleshy wound in the wall. I hear crying from within. That is not my problem. Stop. Okay, the wall has a cooter. Got it. Oh, it's icky. It's icky and wet in here. This is gonna get us killed. Is this us going back to our roots? <laughs> Climbing back into our mother's utero? What am I gonna do with all the stuff we have? Is Mary in here? Mary! Mary, are you in here? I crawl so slow, Mary. Fleshy webbing. <gasps> what is that? Is that a spider? There was no way I was tearing that thick organic mass by hand. I need to think of something else. My scalpel! Oops. My scalpel! Cut, cut. Okay. My silver bullet! Silver bullet. Heretic acid? Ah! Oh, it's a teddy! Ooh. It's a toy bear. It's a funny idea. Well, I didn't mean to. Put it back. Toy bear. Oh, we have the matching eye. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. The eyes had long ago been lost, but there was something else there now. A gem lodged in this eye socket. I made my way back out the hole as quickly as I could. Thank you! I didn't want to have to deal with that. Um, Seeming black liquid? I wasn't going to touch it with my bare hands. Can we bottle it? Is that... It's a funny idea. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, what if we... This now. Seal the key? Uh, here you go. No, you're not gonna... No, that's not what I meant to do, goober. Fine. Um, I can't interact with this sink, but can I... No. Gosh, this marionette's creepy. Is there anything I could give you? Can't do anything with it. Uh, you need like... I don't I don't think I have at all what you want. There's... Do you want acid? Oh! Oh! Okay, I gave you acid. 
Oh, I took- I could take it away. Oh, how interesting. Can I give you normal- the assassin? Oh, I can! That's so interesting! Can I... mix the two? No. Okay. Do you want a little gem? No. You want a little... No. Alright. Can I get- Ooh. What is that? What is that? Uh, listen, I'm so sorry. <gasps> the liquid took an appearance of blood. Oh, and strange to tell, among that earthen lot, some could articulate while others not. And suddenly, one more impatient cried, Who is the potter? Pray, who is the pot? Oh, a small creature appeared in the bowl. Okay, take it. No, just take it. Stop it. Take it. She's gonna jump scare. She didn't. Oh, and nothing else to gain from the marionette. Well, that's great. Thank you, Miss Marionette. Oh, no, don't touch that. I just want to see. Is this is the iron key good with the lock and chains? Aha! Okay, so we have this other key. What do you want us to do with it? Um, do you want us to mess with the... We haven't messed with the new body yet. And this we haven't messed with either. Oh, that's a full body now. Oh, you grew up. Wow, look how big you've gotten. I'm so proud. Organic mass. There was no way I was touching that. You want some... You want some juice? Juice. Juice for you. Okay, no juice. You want some juice? Okay, no juice. You want juice? No juice. Juice? No juice. <laughs> juice? No juice. Uh, juice. Ju juice? No juice. Okay, we're definitely getting somewhere, guys. Don't worry. Can I put the eye with the teddy bear? No. Can I give you it? Well, there's gotta be something to do with this body. Is it going near him? Tweezers. Tweeze a little piece off of him. Tweeze a little... Hmm. Okay. That eyeball is so creepy. Surgical tray. There's nothing on the tray. You want to put stuff on the tray? I mean, we could just like set it up. No. Well, we have to figure out a way. He was spending it in bubbling green liquid. The bottle is sealed with wire. Oh, could we cut it? Manage to lever the wires off and get the key out. But the scalpel broke in the process. No! No, my scalpel! Okay. Oh, we have it already. Alright, bye! I don't need you. I can figure everything else out on my own. And that's our second key. Uh, budding. Can we go now? No. Oh, I see this. One more lock. Ooh, that's creeped me out. Whoa, it does! It's creepy for a reason. If I may have a moment of your time. Who are you? Good evening, good morning, whatever the time is. It means very little to me. Hello. I. Before we begin, can I check your name? What? Joshua Hagstrom, yes? Joshua Hagstrom? Oh, yes. Excellent. Always good to start by knowing who you're talking to. Hello. I suggest you ask him questions, young man. I suppose this must be quite shocking. Maybe I would have reacted the same once upon a time. I'm a bit long in the tooth now. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, she's getting a little smirk. Anyway, ask your questions. We must draw this to a conclusion. Who are you? What are you? Your skin, your body. How are you alive? What the freak is going on? Am I dead? Who is the man on the table? Oh, can we go like top down? Who are you? What are you? I'm sure I did once have a name, but I must have forgotten it long ago. I don't need a name, to be honest. All I am is my role. Your role? As what? Scribe, maybe? Historian? Some days I feel a little more than a glorified di dictaphone. Huh. <laughs> In the smirk. What are you recording? Everything that I see. A story that I am privileged to be witnessing. Yes, call me the witness. That will do. Oh, great. We're back at Destiny. What kind of story? 
the best kind. Adventure, love, loss, struggle, triumph, masterpiece. Uh, your skin, your body, how are you alive? I don't know that I am. I exist. That is enough. All I need are my senses to observe, my mind to understand, and my hand to wield the pen. All else is just a matter, is just matter, free to be lost. Fair enough. What is this place? I suppose the best way to describe it is as a holding cell. No, sorry, I should rephrase that. Maybe an airlock? What? I know, probably a poor analogy, but maybe limbo. Purgatory? But I should say, not in a religious sense. From what I have seen, there is no god. I doubt. Not in the popular sense, anyway. Sure, buddy. There is power. That is certain. Apologies, I'm rambling. Well, yeah, you're rambling, alright. What the freak is going on? Am I dead? No, not at all. Well, not yet. Even so, life is temporary anyway, my friend. From the point of view of eternity, you may as well be dead. What is that supposed to mean? Stop speaking in freaking riddles. Well, that is a fair point. I do rather like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> I rarely get to use it nowadays. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is the man on the table? Oh, he would have what remains of my guts for garters if I were to say his name. Oh, needless to say, he is the reason that I'm here and the reason you are here. He's watching you. Quite the privilege. What is he? Is he a demon? Ha! <laughs> no, not at all. He is a man, just like you. Well, maybe not exactly like you. There is no one quite like him. Can you help me get out of here? Yes, of course. The destination, though, that is what you need to decide. What do you mean? I will lay out, lay it out for you, good doctor. You have always been a cons consigned, what, consistuous man, diligent in all matters of work. Have you not? I, I have. Following in the footsteps of your father, your brothers, you were the youngest to achieve your doctorate. How do you know all this? You chose the nights away fr wait, from your wife, from your daughter, to follow your dream. I didn't choose... It is always a choice. I am not trying to shame you, doctor. You seek knowledge. You want to better yourself. And by your actions today, you have given yourself the opportunity to see things, places, events, that you would never have the chance of otherwise. You can join us, see the unseen, rise up against the etheric bonds that shackle humanity, and break them. Or you can return to your family, to your profession, and become a ripple in an ocean of time, lost in a heartbeat. And this is not without meaning, my friend. For every moment of the cosmic that you witness with us, you will miss a moment just as vital for your soul, with your wife, your daughter. I... I had a family once too. I was a grandfather. I suggest you take some time to decide. Come back to me when you understand when you are certain of your answer. I will be waiting. Oh. Okay. Well, you don't look as creepy as um as you do in this form. I mean, okay, I'm, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so, you ready? What is your decision? Knowledge or love? Um, I'm just going to I don't know which one's the good ending. I'm going to say love is the good ending. Love. The curious, twisted man gave a sigh and smile, moving fleetingly over his withered features. So be it. I took the red gem. It was warm in my hand. Oh. Okay, now what happens if I talk to him? I had nothing else to say to him. The decision was made. Oh, am I gonna die? It's... No, that's not what I want to do, stupid! We already know it's closed! <laughs> what? How do we... Is he still there? Oh, you're so weird. So then if I chose love and I got a heavy red gem, a blood red gem, and then Monty the bear. 
What do I do with all these three? That, none of the- that, none of it makes sense! You want my gem? You want my- Why don't we put the gems on the surgical table? On this? It's a funny idea. You're a funny idea, stupid. Uh, what if we- we actually haven't messed with the bear that much. No? No, that would cause too much damage. I needed to be more careful. Oh, what if we use the tweezers? I was able to carefully remove the jewel without damaging the toy. Freha wouldn't have given would wouldn't have forgiven me if I had hurt Monty. All right, so we have blood red gem, heavy red gem, delicate red gem. And what are these for? Is it for the photo? No, the photo's gone. Stop! 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 Hey, witness. Okay. There has to be something to put these gems together. Uh, parasitic acid used to sterilize and remove surfaces of contaminants. Highly corrosive. Oh, could we use that on a lock? If it's highly corrosive? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Let's see. Acid on the chains. On the ch on the chain. Acid on the chains. Acid chains. Ch chains on the chain. Acid on the chains. On the ch on the chains. On the on the chains. On the chains. Okay. No acid on the chains. Uh, the bullet had three teardrop shaped. Oh, indentations on the side. What could they be for? Oh, I preserved the jewel into this place. Here we go. Press the second jewel into the place. Ah, completed silver bullet. That won't do anything. That won't do anything. What? That won't do anything. What? 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 What do you want me to do? What? Then why am I staring at it? Oh! And then as the bile rose in my throat, what happened? I. Oh! Oh! Hello! A shame. I had hoped that. But then, hope means little. And you have earned the right to choose. You saved me, and I will respect your decision. Remain here, but know this. Your silent evenings, and your choked back confessions, as the shadows of doubt dig their way into your soul. Hagstrom, can you hear me? He's coming round. Contact his wife. Her name is Mary. The contact details are in his file. His teeth. Hagstrom, we're going to do some tests. You just passed out. Have you been drinking enough? Will he be okay? I think so. What happened to him? He was operating on... He was... Is there a patient on the way? I don't think so. The table is prepped, but... There's no one. I remember his teeth. Ooh. I think we all need a rest. His teeth. His teeth. <laughs> I will be waiting. Oh, his teeth are made out of glass. That's so creepy. That reminds me of some. There's like some movie monster that has like pitch black teeth. But that was teeth of glass. Um, I know that there's two endings, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna go and get the second ending because you, I can't, I can't just not. I can't just not. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. I choose! I choose knowledge! The curious, twisted man nodded, his mouth firm. So be it! He t I took the key. It weighed heavily in my hand. Ah, oh, that's how you get the third key! So you either get the gem from him or the key. Huh! And as the last chains fell away, I flung the doors open. Nothing could have prepared me for the sight that I- that lay beyond. <gasps> Can we see? Is it gonna be space? It's gonna be something- oh. Whoa. It's kinda like space. Ooh. The music. Is that a blood moon? Is that a face? Is that a clock? Looks like a moon. Is that where the red gems come from? Mm. The City of Pillars, Dr. Hagstrom, my home, and one day, I will return. 
Is that the, is that the bad guy? Is that Mr. Glass Teeth? Okay, all right. That was so good. That was Teeth of Glass. That was really fun, really creepy. I loved it. I wanted to take a break and do something scary, but not too scary. And I feel like this game was just right for that. What fun! I gosh, I love pixel uh, point and click games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I have plenty of other scary games if you want to watch. And just thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye!